Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to do a quick and short tutorial with vanilla JavaScript which will allow you to copy any element on the browser into the clipboard. It is one of the most asked questions on the internet and it couldn't be easier to do it. I will show you how to copy any element to clipboard in just 6 lines of vanilla JavaScript. Yes, I said vanilla JavaScript. You don't need jQuery or any other complex library to do that. But before we get started, if you are new to our channel, I just want to let you know what we are all about. We create tutorials, programming news, tech news, everything that a programmer or a developer would need to keep themselves up to date with the industry. Now let's dive into the code and see how to do it. So to start this off, I've opened my Visual Studio code and my browser on the side. The first thing that I'll do is I'll bring up the boilerplate HTML code. After that, let's add a paragraph. Let's imagine that we have some content written in here. So I'll just write the boilerplate lorem ipsum code and save it. Let's see if it displays properly. Yeah, that is perfect. Now what we want to achieve is we want to have some basic JavaScript code that runs when we click on this paragraph. In your case, it can be a private key, it can be a heading, it can be any kind of text that you want the user to copy. Let's play with the on click and we we'll create a function copy to clipboard and we'll pass this. So basically the reference to this paragraph or any element, any HTML element that you might want to pass. And we are going to pass the element in here and this would be our function body. Now just to show you what is inside the element, I'll console log it for now. Let's open the developer tools on refresh. When I click on it, you see we have the actual paragraph with the complete text. So that's perfect. That's what we wanted. However, we don't want the element as is. We want the text inside the element. So it's very basic. What we'll do is we'll just take out the text. Let's say, We'll name it text to copy and we'll take the inner HTML. Now let's see if we try to print this just to test things out before we start working on the actual code. So that looks perfect. Earlier we were logging the whole paragraph element. Now we're just logging the text or the inner HTML content of that paragraph and that's where we want to head towards, right? Now that we are sure that we have the correct text that we want to copy in the end. So I can just remove this console log. There are many ways to copy text using jQuery or maybe some other library, but today we are going to do it with vanilla JavaScript. And now we are going to create an HTML element and we'll name it document.createElement. And this would be a text area. And don't worry, I'll explain why we are doing this. And then we'll assign the value of the text we want to copy to the value of this text area. The next step is we want to add this element in our document. So we'll say document.body.appendChild and we will append this element, which is basically the text area. Let's see what happens when you refresh. When you refresh, you see we have the whole, the whole text. So that is perfect. Now, basically what we have to do is we have to select all of this and copy it. And we'll do that using vanilla JavaScript. So the next thing we'll do is we we'll do element.select. So basically we can select everything like I just did with my mouse, like this. JavaScript will basically select the whole text inside this text area the same way that we can do with our mouse. So after that, after that, we want the document to execute a command. Now you might not have used this function, but this is a pretty common function. What we want to do is we want to execute a command which is basically the copy command. So this code is pretty intuitive, right? Now let's see what happens when I click on it. When I click on it, you see the text area comes over and it should have selected everything and copied it. Let's paste it in the console here. Uh, looks like something's wrong. Okay, uh, my bad, I forgot to call it. It's actually a function, el.select or element.select. So I'll refresh it, click again. And this time, hopefully it will paste and exactly now the text has been copied and pasted now obviously because we don't want this ugly text area to be displayed in the end so we'll remove it after being copied so for that what we have to do is the same way we added an element or created an element we'll do document dot body dot remove child and we'll just pass the element that we just created above let's see on refresh if it does what we exactly wanted it to do so i'll go here i'll click on the paragraph 
and the text should have been copied to clipboard we don't see the text area so that's a plus let's paste it so there you go you have actually pasted the content of the paragraph over here and just to show you that it works with every kind of element so this time what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a heading and i'm going to pass the same function the same event handler on click and this time i'm just going to add a heading which says copy me and i'll refresh the page and let's see if we click on the heading and i paste whatever i have right now in my clipboard you see it says copy me and again if i click on the paragraph and paste again on my console we have the paragraph so that is perfect we can actually copy any kind of element any kind of text into our clipboard and paste it anywhere we want and the user would be very happy if especially he or she does not have to copy a huge text or an api key or a password etc this is a very useful feature and it's a very easy way to do it as you can see we just needed six lines of code six lines of vanilla javascript and we have done it so i hope it helped you if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section below also like the video if it helped you in any way and consider subscribing to our channel because it will help us a lot thank you very much and have a great day